What up Electrobrass, Lexi here and today we do another video. I'm at B Motor here in Zurich, it's the official zero motorcycle dealer here in Zurich. And today I want to introduce you to this awesome beast, Zero FXE. I knew you're curious about, heard a lot of rumors and all, uh, there are videos out since months about test ride and stuff. Today I will give you some specs, data, details, and we will also do a test ride to show you if it's real, if it's rideable, or is it total crap of plastic, you know. So I will give you my impression, my thoughts about, so let's dive into it, no more trash talk, yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, <laughs> yes. Um, zero Edward's dice, the Zero FXE as a city commuter. And by the way, a day, yeah, what's, what's me in a city commuter? Yeah, you don't know. I will tell you my experience, which I gathered with the Zero SR back in, back in the days before I had the Energica. And also in three weeks, we come out another video about the FXE. Some professional motorcyclist, a motorcycle instructor, rode it and tested it. He bought it for his own, for his classes, and he will give his honest opinion, plus and cons, why he bought it and what else. So you know the real deal. But first up, we came to some nerd talk with, uh, about range, blah, 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 and stuff and so on. Some people will, 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 will argue about uh, it has not that much range and blah, blah, blah. I can't go big touring and stuff, what else? And that's the point. Based on my experience, when I go around town, when I go to work, I had a 100 kilometer. Yeah, it's in a range you can do with the zero. But the point was, I can go from my home to the work, charge for free, and come back with the full charge battery. So, if you come back with the zero FXE, it's it's on 10 or 20 percent or uh, almost a zero. You charge it overnight. It's fully when you start in the new day. Next day, it's fully charged, and then you go on, go somewhere else. 50, 80 kilometers, maybe to work, to plug it in, charge it. I mean, you have plugs anywhere. It's not you have to go to a charging station. You can use any household plugs, plug it in for a couple of hours. I knew, yeah, it has eight to nine hours from zero to 100 charging, but plug it in at work, eight hours later, nine hours later, depends how long you work, you can uh, unplug and go home or go on a ride, what else? It's not that big pain as many people think, you know? So it's based on my real, uh, my own experience I had with Zero uh, back in the days I rode it. So let's talk about information Zero telling you about the Zero FXE. In the left corner, <laughs> Zero FXE with the 135 kilogram. <laughs> this is maybe some uh, sports, uh, yeah, freestyle motocross bikes are not that heavyweight, but when we go on a ride later, I will show you how it handles, and it's not that big pain. You know, you have a lot of torque. Uh, here, down here, it's the torque, 106 Newton meter. This is insane. Even not some sport bikes had that much, much torque, you know? And top speed of 137 kilometer per hour. And city range, what that mean, 161? I mean, 61? If I ride it, if, if someone else ride it, 160. Let's prove that number, we, I don't believe it. I think this is possible with just easy commuting, not rev it uh, always the hard way <laughs> and going crazy. But this bike will force you to go fast. It, it will ask you constantly, push it, push it, give it more, give it more. <laughs> and this way you don't save battery. And so it's the obstacles really to behave yourself on these motorcycles because they have acceleration and torque like a beast, man. Yo. And this is, I guess, that's the real issue. You, to ride conservative to have enough range. What else? So just to mention that, you know. So let's jump right into the next topic about specs and nerd stuff here, all the buttons. For all those who never was introduced or didn't know how Zero works, you have an application uh, on your mobile phone. Uh, you can go over here on custom mode uh, by pressing the mode button. Sport, eco, custom, what else? And in this custom mode here, you can set it up for your, for your personal uh, yeah, preferences, what else you want. So on the display, by the way, what, what we got here, we, have, we got the motor RPM, the battery percentage, 39%. Um, here you see the speed, the charging state, regen, torque you see in here, and the average consumption you have. And here is the odometer. This is only 10 kilometer road. Viku, 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 viku. Yeah, it's brand new, tell your brace. It's so awesome, Zero FXE. Beautiful bike, man. 
But tell your brace, we want to we wanna do all the canned dirt stuff here. And later we go on test drive, as I told you. And yeah, I, I introduced already to the mode button. You can here run through Eco Custom and Sport, what else you want to prefer, how, how insane you, you want to ride or even what else you want to do. Then brake level, of course, throttle, everyone knows. A clutch, what clutch? What, 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 what? No clutch here, what the heck? So this is not the bike for, pe for people telling me always they miss the clutch and the shifting, all the kind of nerdy bullshit. Has no clutch, it's really easy. Even my grandma can ride it because it's very easy to handle. And the thing is about electric, um, you don't have to manage all the kind of steampunk lever um, stuff and get distracted by, by some mechanics. You can focus on traffic, on your own environment, and yeah, your senses are on the environment which which provides more safety to you it's based on my experience i have it's the big difference when it comes to safety from uh, traditional motorcycles to electric if you're an experienced rider it doesn't distract you but for beginners it's a huge deal or maybe if you just ride not so frequent once a weekend in the summer and you don't have this routine this is a great st a great thing about electric it's easy to handle and it provides more safety to you. Bad way. <laughs> and here we have, um, yeah, let me show you the stop and go mode button. So kick stand up first, uh, everyone, and then click that. Once it appears here, it's on go. It's off, go, off, oh, yeah, that's. First, I wasn't sure, is this the rocket, missiles, or machine gun? No, it's, it's the can't ignition button. But it's not an ignition, it's just for stop and go to operate the motorcycle. Mode button, of course, I introduced you already. Then we have here, um, four light. Here you can do, do, do disco. You can't disco do it here, man, it's awesome. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it later, disco style, yo. Um, it's for blinking, and here you have the button here. This one is for constantly, far light, and this is for normal light. And here also we got it. We got here we got disco mode. Listen to this, man. Doing the blinkers here, warning, uh, warning sign, and doing this. Yeah, ultimate disco play. <laughs> it's awesome, this bike. I love it. Damn. Stay tuned, Briz! The horn button, everyone knows, and left, right, blinker here. That's basically, it, 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 that's it. <laughs> maintenance? What should I talk about maintenance? There is no maintenance. Okay, if you want to do maintenance, I mean... Viku, viku, viku! Viku, viku! You can care about motorcycle. It's maintenance free. Just plug it and charge it. Uh, after you've done some 10,000, 20,000 kilometer, re replace tires, replace belt. You know, zero um, belts is not absolutely maintenance free for a million kilometers. It's you have to do a replace every 10, 20,000, I don't know. Brake pads, of course, but that's, that's the basic stuff. That's it. I did 50,000 kilometer on my Energica. Still the same brake pads in front. <laughs> 50,000. You can use regen, of course, has he told me? I ride electric since years. It, <laughs> it's normal for me. I don't think about these things. So you have regen on the rear tire. So if you, re if you release the throttle, it will slow you down by generating energy for your battery. And this slows you down. When you do that proper, uh, with, um, y you can really... It's only an emergency brake or if you ride pretty sporty, but for normal, normal commuting, you don't need the front brake. So maintenance, sorry. Uh, this is just for riding, having fun. And by the way, brace, see this? B-Moto, so CH, check it out. Here's no number plate, this empty space. This could be your number plate here. So check it out, probably this could be your bike. By the way, Brass, I'll show you how heavy this bike is. But people will complain about, oh, it's so heavy and pain in the ass and stuff. Let, let me show you how easy it is. This heavy bike, you can turn around easy way. Look at this, man. That's 
that's basically it. This is it, but what, what the heck? It's that heavy, man. Don't complain, y'all. Really. Oh, shit. Oh, ah. It's so bright. It's LED here. We have LED lights here. And as you see it, it has Bosch ABS system. So it's pretty safe. You can uh, really mess it up and the ABS kicks in and manage uh, everything before you have a crash. It's a little spoiler. Next video will come out with the pro professional motorcycle uh, instructor. He complained a little bit about if you park it on a steep hill or something on a street, you don't have some, uh, you have don't, no gear, so the bike can roll away. Uh, that, that's kind of issue. But what the shop also offers is this here, this part. So you basically have this button here. You can um, click in and the front brake um, blocks the, the wheel. So yeah, yeah, it comes here, it comes here, yeah, here. What it does is blocking the front wheel um, when for parking and problem solved. That's, that's, that's amazing. That's, some, that's a kind of missing thing. I also miss on Energica. They should do this uh, on standard or when they're selling the bikes, but a little part and a great solution, tell you. No, no, it wasn't me. No, 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 no. I'm not guilty. <laughs> hey, Briss, look at this. Look at this, eh? Bre <laughs> yeah, they showed me the fork because if you, if you mess it up, if you mess it up, if you have a horrible crash, what else you mess it up? Look at this. It still works. It's so funny. Wiku, wiku, wiku. <laughs> yeah, but if you have a crash, if you mess it up, why is the reason you should come over to B-Moto? I tell you, because they can repair everything. They can modify, repair, do incredible stuff. Let me show you the garage. Come over. I will introduce you to the chaos. <laughs> so, before we start the topic in depth, it's like plastic surgery. It doesn't look very beautiful when you do it, but the result is amazing. It's stunning. B b tell me. So, don't... You will be shocked how the garage looks like. Come in. <laughs> Look at this, man. This is where the magic happens. Tell you, Brace. This is not chaos. This is the amazing work you do here. Here, also someone fucked up the... Uh, yeah, probably. It's pretty sad. Uh, crashed um, SRS or uh, yeah, what else? And the thing is, when it comes to B Moto, they don't they just uh, don't just tell you uh, motorcycles or parts and say yeah goodbye. If you have some crash or need maintenance or want to modify your uh, your zero, want to do a bigger charger, want to do anything else, they can help you out completely. They they are the professionals for this. So for rebuilds, for modifying, or <laughs> for a new fork, what else? Just give it a call and they will do it. It's amazing, and they also do modifying some. Uh, what it is, it's, it's Polaris, it's Polaris. What else, vehicle, off-road beast. And here, you, what, what, you, what you will see, it's basically zero motorcycle components they, they use for modifying this vehicle. That's, that's the motor, zero motors. Yeah, I just wanna introduce you a little bit to the chaos here, but um, you see the bikes. You, if you fucked up, they can help you out. So that's basically, that's the chaos here I wanna show you, but now, Depends on whether it's pretty foggy. We want to go on a test ride. I will show you the bike. And my ideas are right about the Zurich Lake. Till then, I'm out. <laughs> so basically, we're going around Zurich, Zurich Lake and stuff. And what I want to tell you is, look at this mess here. It's wet, it's cold. Wait a second, let me show you how cold it is. It's eight degrees and it's messy, cloudy, wet. So worst condition to do a test ride. Um, LOL, tell you. <laughs> but it's about honesty. I mean, I could do it on best conditions, show you the awesome range, but let's do it on the worst conditions. So that's the minimum you can expect, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's all about um, don't do here, fake anything. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it doesn't was activated. <laughs> so funny. Falling away as I'm 
searching for the break of a day to fall away to you. Squeak. Cause at the end of the day, I'm looking for no reason to change. Cause everything is good for you. Yeah, brace, what the heck, want to do a test ride and ending up here at the gas station. What a horrible experience, man. <laughs> no, really, man. <laughs> Here's the owner of the shop, but let me ride this vehicle. We do go around to Zurich Lake and he has to go on the toilet. That's the only limitation we have on electric bikes. Think about it. Everyone has range and anxiety and stuff. But the real limitation is... is, is Find a toilet, find, finding something to drink with else and, and, and eating something, snacks. That's the real limitation, man. <laughs> Yo, here's back. That's for me. Oh, thank you very much. Yo, here we go. Oh. went the fourth time to the toilet because we're riding for hours and you see again it starts yeah a little bit rainy pretty messy and cold that's very cold <laughs> so until now we've done over 100 kilometer we're heading uh Zurich center and then we sh I, I show you some details and do nerd talk about our trip i run Zurich lake so enjoy the ride let's go man <laughs> Week. Yeah, Zurich Skyline here. Um, awesome, <laughs> awesome traffic. Also, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pain in the ass, man. I tell you. <laughs> it's so funny. No one can hear us. We're right behind. Yeah, that, that's it. The Prime Tower. Here we are, Brace. Yep, finally made it. So, before we talk about any final data, I will explain you something. Here, this one, this is Lexi. <laughs> look, look kind of a man from the moon, you know. <laughs> yeah, really. Here, Zurich, it's 10 degrees. Man, it, it feels way, way colder. I, this is not a review. This is my honest opinion, first impression about the bike. I mean, for a review, I, I had to ride it a couple times, a couple days or weeks, do several charges on it and get the, in, the entire experience. But... Based on my experience on electric motorcycle, I've done 70,000 kilometer on electric motorcycles in total. So um, I have a clue what's good, what's bad, what could be better, and then stuff on, so on, so on. And yeah, let's jump, jump into it, the final data. We've done uh, almost 112 kilometer um, with 10% uh, charge left or 90% of charge we used. Um, that's not the, the result uh, as advertised. And I tell you, on cold conditions, when we have, uh, like today, in uh, cold conditions, 10 degrees here in Zurich, it's autumn, and when it's getting cold, 10 degrees or lower, you have less range because, yeah, it's not that efficient anymore. Um, that's that's typical for electric vehicles in general, also Tesla. It's not it's not an exception. This one, we ride city traffic. Uh, up to yeah country roads we go up to 80 percent and the my impression was as long we ride six for 50 to 60 kilometer per hour uh, it's very very efficient very um conservative but as soon we go uh, on country roads crank it a little bit go up to 80 it takes way more energy so if you only cruise around with 50 to 60 kilometer per hour that's uh, 30 to 40 miles per hour you make that. It, it's, it seems to be possible to, to be 
possible uh, to make this 160 kilometer, no big deal. And, but with, uh, with this condition we had uh, tested on wet, almost or dry roads, cold conditions, it's the worst condition you can have. So that's the minimum range you can expect. Well, uh, just about honest impression. Uh, I just want to mention that first. But overall, what what we was riding for hours, uh, as you see. Meanwhile, it's it's dark, and the, the thing is, I got no butt hurt. <laughs> really, brace. That's that's that's. Some some people start to complain about things, they don't like, and or where's the pain? And there is no pain. There is no pain. I have no butt hurt after riding for hours. Not every motorcycle is, is that good. This, this is awesome. I, I like it. I like it just because of this. And it's very easy to ride. And it's safe to operate, as I told you before. Um, even your grandma can ride it. Uh, going electric is pretty easy. Easier than internal combustion. And that's not because uh, it makes it more complicated. It's safer. Easy bikes are safe bikes. That's, that's by the way. That's my first impression. And safety first. If a sa- bike is safe to operate, it is it is a good bike. Nevertheless, the data it's the, that's the yeah. By the way, and also what I want to mention is um, I did this test ride with a bike uh, from B Moto. It was me an honor to do de- to do this bike because I did the first uh, 100 kilometer on it. Now it has 122. It was me an honor to do this. Um, riding the first kilometer, uh, few kilometers on this bike here in Zurich. This it's a demo bike. Yeah. But the bike performed overall very good. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, some 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 minor adjustments you can do. Uh, for me, it was the the rear brake was was not proper adjusted from for my propose. But also here the front lever you can adjust here. Um, it's it's it, 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 it's not something I want to mention. It's it's bad about the bike. Tires are good. Suspension is, is good. Um, as I told you, safe to operate. Uh, here and there, some minor adjustment should be needed. But the overall stock setup, which the bike came delivered, it's very good. It's You can ride, go go on the street, having a blast, have a ride, no big deal. Uh, no modifications are necessary. And maybe you saw Sam's video about the FXC. He questioning, is this really the future? Where is the fast charging or... Um, type 2 charger and this is a big question by the way you know we all would like a super fast charging electric um, bike like that which looks so futuristic would be so awesome really I would love it but is it now a pain in the ass or not for me definitely not because if you have expectation as a as a as a touring bike Nope, this is this is, is not. If you expect to have a cheap commuter, yes, this is the right choice. Because once you pay the price, you also have almost zero maintenance, just ch- tire changes and minor parts. Total cost of ownership is really below zero, <laughs> I tell you. As long as it suits to your purpose or to your use, uh, what, what you need for a kind of motorcycle, this is it. If it suits to your needs, this is it. What else can I tell you? I'm excited to ride it, uh, by the way. But I can talk for hours and it w- this would not make sa- anything better. Go for a test ride. Check out BMOto here in Zurich if you're around. Came for a test ride because I can't transfer these emotions to you when you're watching this video. Yeah, you have to test it and make your own experience with it i don't want to hype it to the to the sky i just want to give you honest opinion about at the end if it's worth thirty thousand uh, bucks or whatever it costs in your country or not you have to decide this by t- saying go for a test ride if you have emotions for this bike this is the right choice tell you i ride electric since years and never regret it never i really still in love with my bike and you, you can fall in love with that bike, definitely. But last but not least, next video will come out. I did a video with the with a professional motorcycle instructor. I knew him very good. My opinion, he is the best motorcycle instructor I knew on this planet. <laughs> what else? 
he bought it and used it every day for, for, for teaching motorcycling. And he gave me his honest opinion. Downsides, plus and cons. If you, if you think I hype it to the sky and you don't believe and you think this is just advertise, wait until the next video he gives his honest opinion about it, plus and cons, and then you can decide or ride or what, do whatever you want. Thank you for watching. It must be an honor to ride the bike. And never forget, ride fast, charge faster. Lexi out, y'all. <laughs>